Something and me not trust the atoms, them to lie, they make up everything. Me know one day we are go fly, and that is so uplifting. All of my love and my sanity, vanity Told me I'm too hard to handle This man will win the opposition, quit playing with me Brothers hella lame, how they get their name Israelites lacking integrity Politics made it to Israel, no brothers not spiritual I cannot let them get next to me Chef in the kitchen, he cooking, he cooking, he cooking These niggas trying to steal a recipe Look at my weaponry, that is my specialty Lion as I and a Judah full pedigree Repping my legacy, if I got a body Rappers then Mike, he gon' be the accessory Judah the gang and I'm repping their heavily Vocals the same, but I got a new melody I'm from the bottom of Rebel to Grepper Street Haters, they hate me, they really be repping me Yeah, they really be repping me this is the thing about it, right? When you read the scriptures, it's talking about a people and their God and their interactions. Okay. You got to kind of think of it like a TV show. Uh -huh. You have a main character, right? Mm -hmm. And every season, there's different characters that get introduced. Every but season? every season, right? Mm -hmm. Or season, episode or whatever, different characters may get introduced. But they're all introduced because of their connection with the main character. Okay. It's about this person's story. Okay. Just like in high school, right? Uh -huh. If I'm following your life, I don't see the people from high school anymore in your life like that, right? Uh -huh. Because you're out of high school. Mm -hmm. The scriptures, although you see the Egyptians, the Moabites, the Ammonites, and all these other nations, they're all talked about because of their interaction with, God. with no, with the Israelites. Because God is dealing with the Israelites and the Israelites alone. Read that. The book of Exodus chapter 24 and verse 12. Bring it out. And the Most High, it says, huh? and the most high said unto Moses. Said unto Moses. Moses is an Israelite, correct? He was the one who got the word from God and taught it to the children of Israel. Read. Okay. Come up to me uh -huh. into the mount Read. and be there. Uh -huh. And I will give thee tables of stone right? and a law. And a what? And, and a, a law. law. So when God, when God called Moses to come up to the mount, he didn't give a religion. He gave him commandments and laws. Read. Correct. Correct. And commandments. Read. Hold on. Read. Which I have written. Read. That thou mayest teach them. That, that what? That, that thou, thou mayest, mayest teach them. So it's no different. It's no different than you calling your oldest child and saying, listen, I'm going to tell you the way I want my house run. And I want you to explain this to your younger siblings. Uh -huh. This is the thing about it. You didn't give them religion. You gave them laws and orders. Hold on. Wait. Uh -huh. That they must uh -huh. follow. So the thing about it is, is this book, when he said that it's not Christianity, Christianity is a religion where man is, e where, is where man is able. Y'all can't wait five minutes for me. Y'all can't wait for five minutes. What do you know you're going to wait for? Not you guys can go without me. But guess what? I got the car keys. Ain't nobody going nowhere. All right. All right. All right. So. What it is, is that Christianity has now butchered the scriptures to say, you know what, I like this part, wait, I like this part, I don't like this part. They have made it a man-pleasing doctrine. How do you follow it? But this is the thing about it. We're not worried about following Christianity. We're worried about following the Most High God. Right. Uh, that's but it. But that Most and High it, God is pointing to a Christian Bible. No, but that's the thing about it. It's not? Wait, wait, you seen the book of Eli? Have you seen Bible, the movie? Uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, I got him. The book of Eli. The, 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 the movie, the book of Eli. Then no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I've Let me. Seen it. Uh, all right. I've seen it. So now, just, let's just come. Quick overview. Uh -huh. Denzel Washington was fighting to uh, protect this Bible, uh -huh. but the main antagonist of the movie, he wanted it so that when he stood up to read, he could make it seem like what he was saying was actually in the Bible, but he knew that he wasn't. He was trying to use it to control the masses. But the thing he about wasn't. it, he wasn't. No, no, no. The other individual was. No, no, no. Not, other, not, yeah, no, not there's a, not there's a, yes, exactly. Yes, so what I'm saying is, uh -huh. if the Christian pastor goes like this and says, God loves the LGBT community, 
How are you wait, supposed to believe him? But, but this is the thing about it. Pastor, but wait, wait. But this is the thing about it. Give me Leviticus chapter uh, 20 and verse 10. Give me Leviticus 20 and verse, and, and verse, and verse 13. The book right? of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Bring it out. If a man also lie with mankind, Three. as he lieth with a woman, uh -huh. both of them have committed an abomination. Read. They shall surely be put to death. Read. Their blood shall be upon them. Isaiah 34 verse 16. So, so break even, that down for, break it even down. though the pastor may make it seem that God accepts every type of lifestyle, if I do my diligence and read what's actually in the scriptures, God does I, not accept that. But, but this is the thing. But hold on, and that's I, written. I, I get it. But, real black but and white. I'm showing you the difference between Christianity and what we're up here teaching. So, what we're showing so no, wait, wait, you. Wait, 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 so, wait. So, hold so on. My question. Wait, wait, one second. One because second. One, one second. That book. One second. For one second. second one right? second. Hold on. Let me finish what my thought. What version is it? Let me finish my thought. Uh -huh. What I'm showing you is scripture straight out of the Bible. If you go home and open up your Bible, it's going to read the same thing that I'm showing you here. Correct. I'm not saying something for you to then go home and verify. Okay. I'm showing you something for uh -huh. you to then go home and study. And then you can come back and say, you know what? I went and I studied this scripture that we spoke about uh -huh. and I have a few questions. Okay. And now guess what? The dialogue isn't about what I said. It's about the scripture that's located in the book. Now, I have a question. I have that. a question before hold you on. go on. Hold on, hold on. One second. Read. The book of Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16. Bring it out. Seek ye out of the book of the Most High and read it. You gotta seek the Lord by reading out of his book, which we know as the Bible. Read. No one of these shall fail. No one of these shall fail. But so the man words that are that written of read. Man None shall that. want her maid. Uh huh. For my mouth it hath commanded. For what? For, for my, my mouth hath commanded. commanded. Read. And his spirit it hath gathered. Psalm 68 and 11. Now, what were you going to say before you say man wrote that? What were you going to say? I was going to say, why is it here uh -huh. that it says for me to slave? For me to obey my slave master. Oh, well, that's oh, no. the answer to the answer. In my opinion, okay. only my opinion, yes. let's say I was God and I created, mm -hmm. I would never tell my creation to obey an oppressor. Mm -hmm. That tells me to obey an oppressor. I have an issue with that. Can you explain that to me? I, I, I would. Uh, so, uh, right. wait, wait, I got him. I got him. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 68 and verse 11. So Bring it out. How the scripture was written, read. The most high. It says what? The, the most, most high. high it says the Lord, read. Gave the word. Read. Great was the company of those that published it. It says what? Great, Great was, was the, the company, company of, of those, those that published it. it. Great was the company of those that published it, read. So the most high said that the word was given by him, but there was a multitude of men, right? Holy men known as his prophets, mm -hmm. who wrote down the words that he spoke. Mm -hmm. The same way if you were to tell your son, write this down for me. Whose words are it? It's yours, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, somebody, let's say he gives it to his younger siblings and say, I, I, you wrote that, I'm not gonna believe it. But guess what? It came out of their father's mouth. Although it was written down on a piece of paper by someone else, it doesn't invalidate the words that were spoken. So we have records here mm -hmm. that were written, yes, by men, but from who? Just like if you were to tell your, if you were to, if you, wait, wait, let me ask you a question. If you were to tell, you just told your daughter, guess what? Y'all gonna wait for me for five minutes and ain't nobody going nowhere because I got the car keys. Now, guess what? If she goes and tell her mother that, is that a true statement? Or is she gonna say, I'm not gonna believe you because that's coming out of your mouth. No, it is a true statement because who said it? All right. So when the Most High says things, although they're scribed and written down by men, that doesn't make them any less true. But how can you prove most high said that to you. What do you mean? He didn't say it to me. He said it to the prophets who wrote it down. And now I'm reading it okay. in a five. Wait, 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 wait. This is the thing about it. When I read it, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12 real quick. I know it applies to me, wait, because I am an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Let me show, let me give you a perfect example, right? Because I'll say like this. If a commercial came on TV and said, if you're over 65 years old, you're eligible to receive a grant. How old are you? Does it apply? Does that commercial apply to you? No. So let me show you what I mean. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it out. And now Israel. And now who? And now, now Israel. Israel. It says, and now Israel. Not the whole world. Not any other nation. It's talking to the Israelites. Uh -huh. So now, guess what? Wait, wait. Now guess what? My attention is commanded. Wait, because whatever is going to be said pertains to who? The who? The, all right, read. 
Wait, 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 hold on, let me finish. But I have me, questions in I, between. I get it, states. but this is the. I'm, I'm, you let me, prove let me that make, you're Israelite. Let me make. Yes. How do you know you're Israelite? All right, we're go, because the people who call themselves Israelites uh -huh. don't look like us. All right, wait, wait. So, so. Yet we know mm -hmm. there is a difference. Mm -hmm. But a lot of us know okay. that the people who proclaim themselves right. as Israelites mm -hmm. that look the way they do. They are not. Oh, good, good. So now, but let me, all of us don't know that. Let me. So let me explain. It's no pressure. Let me explain. So let's read. And now Israel. And now Israel, read. What doeth the Most High thy power require of thee? So as an Israelite, we have a requirement of God. Okay. Now, if I'm another nation, I'm not worried about what's being said here because I'm not of Israel. Would you agree? Because if I'm reading it, wait, wait, hold okay, on. Go ahead, Put it like continue. this. Put it like this. Put it like this. Let's say I'm an Ethiopian. And I'm reading this sentence mm -hmm. as an Ethiopian. Do That's I not have the Ethiopian? Bible. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. Okay, let's choose okay, okay. any other nation. Okay, let's okay. say I'm a non-Israelite. Okay. If I'm reading this, am I concerned about what's written? No, because just like you're not concerned about that commercial because you're not 65. Okay. Non-Israelites are. You get I what I'm saying, saying now? All right. So let's read. Let's read. Okay. And now Israel, mm -hmm. what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? Right. But to fear the Lord thy God, Read. to walk in all his ways, Read. and to love him, Read. and to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So as an Israelite, when I read this Bible, I understand that the Most High God requires these things of me. Now, to understand these requirements, I have to know what it is to love him. I have to know what it is to walk in all his ways. I have to know what it is to fear him. It's my now responsibility and obligation to get that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the requirements, just like you have a job. Well, at your job, you sign a contract to say, these are your job duties, and this is what I'm going to pay you at the end of, you know, every but week or every, every not the same. But no, no, wait, wait, but it is. Let me show, let me tell you why. Let I'm me tell you, let me, I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you exactly why, right? Give me, give me Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 26. I'm gonna show you exactly why it is. There's contracts that are written to establish what? Terms and conditions. I Let me a, read the term and conditions of the contract that we signed with God. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 26. Here's the read terms up. and conditions. Read. Behold, uh -huh. I set before you this day. I set before you this day. The Most High is speaking to the Israelites. Read. A blessing. A what? A, a blessing. blessing. Read. And a curse. So we got blessings and we got curses. Read. A blessing. A what? A, a blessing. blessing. A blessing. Read. If. What say? If, if. If. Read. Ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, uh -huh. which I command you this day. So we get blessings if we do what? Keep the commandments okay. of God. Wait, wait, hold on. Read, read. Wait, wait. I got I you. Read. Read. And, and a curse. And a what? And, and a curse. curse. Read. If you will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. All right. So if we obey the commandments of God, we're blessed. If we disobey the commandments of we're God, cursed. we're cursed. If you do your job, you get paid. If you don't do your job, you get fired. It's not the same. How is it not the same? Because spirituality. Why would God? I, hold on. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Speak. Why would God create us mm -hmm. knowing our sin mm -hmm. and then condemn us to it? He, God, if let's going to say, let's, let's say he already knows all of these things. Why would we then be condemned afterwards? This is the thing about it. What you're saying is God set us up for failure, basically. No, no, I'm not. I'm saying man set us up for failure. So wait, 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 God me, would not set us up for failure. Me, hold on, hold on. So let me understand God you. created with free will. So are, are, you saying, are you saying that there's no penalty for disobedience towards God? I'm saying that there are rules and regulations that man has governed. So, so and what those, we, and those and, and, and those governing things are not for spirituality. Let me understand you. What we just read, when it said that if we keep the commandments of God, we'll be blessed, and if we disobey the commandments of God, we'll be cursed. Are you saying that oh. a man imposed those terms and conditions, or was it God Himself? Hold on, let me ask. I'm just asking if a question. If I'm a murderer, and I murder, and then I decide I'm going to repent. Hey, okay. I go to heaven, right? It depends. It depends on the judgment of the Lord. Whoa. It depends on the judgment if of the I Lord. I repent, I should go to heaven. The, hey, that is this, written. Is hold, it not? Wait, wait, wait. This is the thing that's about a yes, no wait, question. wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, let's start hold there. On. Is the, that a yes? Demar, Demar. Yes or no question? You, you jumping? I'm, I'm trying to deal with one thing at a time. Okay, so, I'm, so, so the, we let we me go back with, to repent. Oh wait, wait. Oh no, if, no. If I'm wait, a murderer let's and deal, I repent, do I go to heaven? Demar, that's a yes or no question. Let's deal with the contract status first. Because I have to get, I have to understand your mindset in order to answer your questions correctly. My mindset. So, I, so, I so, wait, wait. What we just read about obedience to God, 
bringing upon blessings and disobedience to God, bringing upon curses, do you believe that is something spoken by the Most High or did man come up with that idea? How would you prove that? Because God is, 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 is divine. Man is going to tell you that this is what's right and this is what's wrong. God doesn't come down and say that. So, so okay. So, you see why we got to answer this question? So, how do you understand or how do you know the punishments for being disobedient to God? If that isn't it, what is it then? In your, it's in my heart. Oh, wait. It's in my heart. Now, what about the man that in his heart he feels like he's a woman? Would you say that his understanding of right and wrong is misconstrued? But remember, if you're telling me the reference to understand what Isaiah 45 and 19, if the reference to understand what is right and wrong is in my heart, what about the man who believes in his heart that he's a woman? Whoa, wait, you can't say that because it's in his heart. You don't have the authority to say what is right and wrong in his heart. You said that you have to go inside your own heart. Whoa, you wait, come on, what are you doing right now? I'm confused. No, 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 you, I'm using you, your But, but this one's hard, I, I understand that, but you know see, this is the thing about it. You know see, I mean? when you challenge you know my mean? position, I can stand on it. I'm now, wait, I'm now challenging your position and asking you to explain. How is it that your heart can tell you something, uh -huh. my heart can tell me something, and you believe you have the authority to judge if my heart is right or wrong? In the book it says. Whoa, whoa don't whoa, you whoa, know? Whoa, you can't use oh, the Bible. Oh, 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 you know, because oh, you said, okay, so you I, can't, said I can't use the Bible. Because right? you disqualified what the Lord just said. I disqualified? You disqualified no, it. I disqualified what the man said. But you said that. You cannot prove to me that this is God's handwriting. This is in English. This is not God's handwriting. God did not come down and write the book himself. God. So how was it written? God inspired man according to the Bible uh -huh. to write these things. How okay. can you prove that what man wrote is truly from God? So are you saying that? No, no, no that's a question. What, no, that's, wait, that's, wait. that's only a question. No, no, but this thing about As it. As a soul, I'm asking you. Yeah, for, but tomorrow, you want to know? You want to know how I answer this question? I'm I wasn't. I don't have the memory of my life when I lived on the, the earth a thousand years ago. This is the thing about it. So guess what? What you're asking me to do is basically walk across water or fly in the sky or create fire out of my hands. Is that not faith? Wait, wait, no, no. Is that not faith? No, no, no. This is, is the thing about it. Is that not faith? No, this is the thing about it. Is that not faith in, in order, God? It, this is the thing about it. In order for you to believe what's written here, mm -hmm. you want me somehow to grab Jeremiah or Ezekiel and bring them before you and say, hey, tell no. Damar no. what it was like no. when the Lord spoke to you and you no. wrote the books. No. No. I can't do that, Damar. So then, where do you and how do you put your faith into something that you know man wrote? But this is the thing about it. I understand man wrote it down, but give me Jeremiah. Just give me Jeremiah so that we, we, we can um, Jeremiah 13. I love this. Give me Jeremiah 13. I love this. That, that's good. I love this because right? as, 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 as melanated people here uh -huh. on this planet, right? I've been told that I'm African American when you know what? My ancestors are native. You know why? You know why? Because they don't want to have any connection to Africa. So you would, it's you would, easy. You would it's easy. easy. Look, 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 look. Seminole Indians, right? North American Indians. If you probably from one of these two tribes. We're not this. I know I'm but, from a North American tribe. So guess what? I'm Cherokee and Warhol. So, so guess what? But yet they tell me I'm African American. But I'm here to tell you today that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Gad. God. And, and, and guess what? My grandfather uh -huh. is from. Nigeria. Okay. So you know what? I'm pretty sure that my ancestors are from there. Okay. But in this country, what do they call you? African American. But, but all right. So Demar, but listen though. Do listen they not? Though. Listen though. Do they not call you African American? It does two things. It tells you first that you're not from here, mm -hmm. right? Because you're African, mm -hmm. right? So you really don't belong. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna accept you. Mm -hmm. That's not okay. Uh, but this is the thing about it. Forget what they said. You not have you having a conversation. Wait, 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 No, 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 no. When I say, when because I say they, they, they gave you this. The slave, the slave Bible that you referring to. You you un version? you no no no. It it's wasn't not? just the king. I want you, I, I challenge you to go home and look up what the what the slave Bible was. The slave Bible was a cherry picking of the scriptures to support the idea of servitude of the so-called black people. Guess what? They haven't wait, wait, but this is the thing about it. This is the thing about it. What happens when you have the entirety, right, of the book that was published, which is the, six, the 1611 King James Version. Wait, wait, wait. Not, and you don't cherry not, pick. Let not, me, but okay. 
Give me Isaiah 30 because, verse because 1. Because our ancestors Book of Isaiah, from Ethiopia chapter have, 30, have 80, and verse 8, 1. Hold on, yeah. let's read this. The the Lord, not 66, 88. The word that You're came missing. to Jeremiah. It says what? The word, word that came, came to Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Read. From the Lord. From the what? From, from the, the Lord. Lord read. Saying, uh -huh. thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel. So the word came to Jeremiah from who? From the Lord, right? right. Read. Wait, wait, wait. Read it again because he's not here. No, the book of Jeremiah chapter uh -huh. 30 and verse 1. Here we go. The word that came to Jeremiah. The word that came to Jeremiah from? From the Lord. From who? From, from the, the Lord. Lord. The word came to Jeremiah from who? From, from the Lord. From the Lord, Demar. Come on now. Read. Saying. Uh-huh. Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel. Read. Saying. Uh-huh. Write thee. What it says? Write What it say? Write. Write. Read. Be all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. In a what? In, in a, a book. book. The instruction from God was Jeremiah. What, to, wait, wait, wait. To man. Demar, to to man. man. No, no. I understood it. Demar. I read the all right, Bible. So wait, Demar, so just, God said to man, write these things down, right? Is that's that what, what you're saying? Yeah, that, no, that's not what I'm saying, no, no, Demar. No, no. That's what the book is saying, right? Oh, okay. That's what Thank the book you. is saying, okay? The book is saying that... Shalom, shalom, family. This is Brother Captain Asaf. Listen, if you are in the Miami, Florida area and you would like to do the work of the Most High, send us an email to lozmdc12 at gmail.com. Or you can contact us via Instagram at the LOZ Miami. Shalom. Gold is precious, but loyalty is priceless. I don't want to mind, might leave you like.